Hi there. I just want to go through um, about uh, Christians um, maybe imprisoned. Uh, they seem to have theme camps all over the place, or uh, detention centres, or whatever they wish to call them. Uh, I just want to go through a couple of scriptures with you, and I don't think it's fear mongering. I think Jesus is just trying to prepare us, like, and you know. So it's not a shock if they get you out of bed at four in the morning and stick you on the UN transfer vehicle or train or whatever, you know what I mean? You're not going to be so freaked out. You know that it's going to happen beforehand. Um, so at the end of the day, he's trying to give you a heads up. He's not a fear monger and nor is anybody else that, that's trying to tell you. If you want to bring people um, to God and Jesus, then like, you know, tell them the correct information. Otherwise, they're going to be turning around to you and saying, why didn't you say anything to me? Why have you kept all this hidden out of the way, you know? You've just given me all the niceties. Well, what's happened to the reality? You could have told us about this, but it's up to you what you do with that, really, I suppose. But I think now's the time that we should all like take heed and suss out what the warnings are, because we're living in those times. So if you want to call other people fear mongers, that's entirely up to you, but you're going to have to deal with your people, the ones that you've been telling, or niceties to, and not any of the warnings to, you've got some explaining to do when it actually happens. You want to take care of them when they've been got up at four o'clock in the morning? Anyway, <laughs> so I just want to go through a couple of the warnings, like, you know, he says, don't panic, right? Don't panic. These things are going to happen, but don't panic, okay? Um, it's Revelation chapter 2, um, verse 10. All right? It says, fear... None of the, those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that you may be tried, and you shall have tribulation ten days. All right? Uh, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of, of life. So, um, yeah, it says again in, in 11, He that hath an ear, let him hear. What the Spirit saith unto the churches, he that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. And another thing is, is why do the people, uh, some of them online, believe uh, that it's going to be a pre-trib uh, rapture if this kind of information is uh, being put out there for all of us to get a hold of? Because like it's, um, it's talking about everybody there, be thou faithful unto death. Does it say except for those that have been raptured. It doesn't, it's just everybody, right? Uh, I'd like to go through a few of the scriptures uh, with you. Um, this is a reassurance that when they do get a hold of you and uh, to put you in prison, um, not to try and premeditate what to say. And um, we'll go to Mark for that one. And this is where your armour comes in as well, because, like, you need your faith. You just keep your mouth shut, like, at the time, you know. It's easy to kick off and say, look, you can't do this, you can't do that, you know. But it's obvious they are going to do it, so let the Lord speak. Let him speak through you, yeah, because that's what he's saying. We'll go to uh, Mark chapter 13. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's 9 to 13. Uh, but take heed to yourselves, for they shall deliver you up to councils, and in the synagogues you shall be beaten, you shall be brought before rulers and kings for my sake, for a testimony, testimony against them. And the gospel must first be preached among all nations. But when they shall lead you and deliver you up, take no thought beforehand what you shall speak. Um, neither do you premeditate um, whatsoever shall be given you in that hour that speak ye. For it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Ghost. Um, it says, Now the brother shall be betray the brother to death, and the father, the son, and children shall rise up against their parents and shall cause them to be put to death. I mean, we're talking about some tribulation, guys, at the end of the day, you know. Um, and you should be hated of all men for my name's sake. 
uh, but he that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. So it, it's going over that again, uh, and it, it mentions to look out for the uh, abomination of desolation. So this is about the latter days, uh, spoken of by Daniel the prophet. Yeah, that's uh, verse 14. Uh, so this is definitely the last days. It doesn't say shoot them in the head, does it? So there's a lot of people on the line saying, take up your guns. We've got to take our guns up, men, and shoot them one. And he's like, no, it's not telling, it's not telling us to do that. Um, so just, just basically keep my mouth shut. It's going to be the Holy Spirit that talks through you, you know what I mean? Just trust, just trust in God because he will take over you, he'll take over you. You know, if demons can do it to people, then God can do it to people. And, you know, he's going to help you out when that time comes. I know it's going to be hard for you to keep your mouth shut like when they're like roughing up, getting hold of you and sticking you on trains and what and that. And you want to say, oh, it's not in the Constitution or what have you. Yeah, it's just uh, it's just the way it's going to be. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, Jesus does explain uh, in uh, Matthew chapter 24, verse 21. <clears throat> Got it. Uh, 21 and 22. Uh, we are warned again, uh, for then shall be great tribulation, such was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be, except those days should be shortened, for there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So, uh, right, so if they're all like pre-tribulation raptured, uh, you know, what's the elect doing hanging around like? So the times can be shortened. <laughs> There's no pre trib rapture, dudes. Uh, there isn't. Right? Um, going through all the false Christ, and they shall so show great signs and wonders. Uh, if it was possible, they could deceive the very elect. Um, a lot of false Christ. So, when you get to that point, look for the sun and the moon to be darkened. It says, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not be the light. And the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot more detail there in uh, chapter 24. I recommend reading the whole lot. Uh, we have an interesting one in Revelation. Over the page. Yep. Revelation chapter 20, verse 4 and 5. And I saw the thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded, right, for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. Uh, that's another subject I want to go through with you. And they lived and reigned with Jesus Christ a thousand years. The rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Okay, and you got to take notice of that as well because you need to know about like, what events happened where, you know, who's around at what time. So, any survivors and any that were beheaded uh, for not accepting the mark in, in the hand or the forehead or worshipping the image, etc., any of those that avoided that, looks like those are going to be going through the thousand year period with Jesus according to the scripture. Uh, also, I'd like to point out that uh, near the start, um, it actually says, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus. Now, uh, they have guillotines in FEMA camps now, the six foot something they said. Uh, so, you know, there's been military personnel that have got out of there and they've started... Uh, 
opening their mouths about it and going to hiding because they uh, they don't have repercussions from the uh, military. But they've actually 